Hey everyone, how are we doing today? Diecast Construction Expert here. We're going to be doing a review for y'all today. Up for the review, we have the Caterpillar TH360B telescopic handler. This was produced by Norscott and it is in 150th scale. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a view of it on a low boy. And the low boy is the uh, new Tonkin Caterpillar uh, CT680, the four axle version. But uh, this is going to be a short review because it's really not too terribly detailed of a model and it really doesn't do all that much. So we'll go ahead and jump right on into the review then. Alright guys, so I decided to start this with the mast at full height and full extension and the stabilizers are down obviously as you can see. Um, this is a really cool model in the respect that it's a lot better than all of the other ones in the category but for what it is it's not the most detailed and it's a little bit dated for lack of a better term as you can see by the Caterpillar logos they are fairly old but the functions all work very very well as you can see it holds its pose with no issues at all um, and as you can see also here there are three stages to the boom along with like I said down here we have the folding outriggers for stability which they aren't necessarily needed but they are a very nice addition they do indeed actually keep the front wheels off of the ground for stability reasons so that's a pretty cool thing that they did there to help out with uh, some of the realism of the model the front and rear axles do turn so you can uh, do some pretty tight turns if that was something that you were interested in doing coming up here to the forks if we can get a good view on them they are uh, going to be adjustable. You can move them side to side if you wish. They also do clip in, which is nice. So that's cool. The range of movement, that's as far down as it'll uh, go theoretically and it'll curl back that far. So the range of movement isn't as much as it could be. Um, I do believe that this also came with a few work tools whenever it was, oops, oops, excuse me, <laughs> whenever it was new in the box. But, um, I ended up getting this just as you see it here. Um, we got some mud flaps on the tires. Nothing too crazy. We got some bolt head detailing as well. We've got uh, a pretty aggressive tread pattern for the tires, which is nice. Unfortunately, Norscott did not take the time to paint the rivet heads on this model, which is kind of a bummer. Other than that, all of the paint <clears throat> is fairly crisp. It is uh, a used model, obviously, so it's not going to be that crazy. Uh, right on top of the cab, you can see there's two forward-facing headlights. And uh, to the rear of the cab here, there are two rearward-facing lights, along with a Caterpillar logo along the back of the operator's cab there. Coming to the back here, we can see one of the hydraulic cylinders there which assists uh, in the boom going up. Well, I have no idea why in the world they would put uh, a piston all the way at the back there where there's absolutely no leverage at all, but uh, that's Caterpillar there for you. Uh, down there you can see a little bit of axle detail, nothing too wild going on. We can see the counterweight here, it's got some lights on it. Along with the rear of the boom we can see the cat logo and the, if we can get a good focus there, not quite there we go the TH360B logo is there there is no detailing along the back side of the boom or anything like that it's really not necessary uh, on this side we see the engine compartment which does not open unfortunately no big deal there though and we have an exhaust stack which uh, could be a little bit better I guess but it's really no no big deal by any means and it gets the job done rather well uh, other than that guys the model it's really cool like I said it functions great compared to all of the other ones in its classes the only one I have but uh, just based off of the online reviews for 
say the Komatsu version or the New Holland version, this one definitely is the best. And really other than that, there's really not too much to say about it. Like I said, this is going to be a fairly short review. It's, uh, it's really a cool model. It's very hard to find nowadays for, for some people. This one wasn't too hard for me to come by, but uh, to each his own. That's going to do it, guys. I don't want to keep rambling on here. I've already stumbled and mumbled more than most of you can take already, I'm sure. So we're going to cut it out. This is Diecast Construction Expert. As always, please, please like, subscribe, and comment. And always follow me on Instagram at Diecast Construction Expert if you are not already. And without any further ado, guys, we're going to cut this stuff out. And we're going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.